In this video, I'm going to react to a size comparison of all the stars in the universe. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Now, this should be a really fascinating one because I'm, you know, I'm pretty much a, a bit of a space nerd. I love all things to do with, you know, uh, interstellar space, space travel. Hopefully one day we're going to have a, you know, a city on Mars. Hopefully we're going to, you know, go back to the moon soon. Stuff like that really, really interests me. And a few weeks back, I reacted to a comparison of all, like size of all the things in the universe from the smallest things like a, a plank to the biggest things, you know, being like the, a, a cluster of galaxies. And it was really, really interesting just just seeing the, 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 the vastness of some of the things in the universe. And someone recommended this video to me, uh, uh, the, the, this star video. and. You know, based on what we know, what I know, so the sun is obviously massive, it's, it's huge, right? But how big is the sun compared to other stars? You know, is the sun one of the biggest stars in the universe, one of the smallest stars? I genuinely haven't got a clue. So I'm hoping this video is going to answer that question for me. So let's go. It's going to be me reacting to a comparison of the size of all the stars in the universe. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Interesting start so far. Okay. So, right. I did not know. So Pluto, Pluto is smaller than our moon. So is Pluto classified as a planet or is it a moon? Because I, I read somewhere that it was declassified as a planet. So is it is it um is it a moon now? Let me know in the comments. Interesting. So Mars is smaller than Earth. Ah, I thought I thought Mars and Earth were roughly the same size. Mm. Wow. I mean, it's it's a pretty big jump, right? from Earth to Kepler 10 Z is just, what is that, at least five times the mass, it looks like, or maybe not the mass, but the uh, circumference at least, the diameter. So we've not even got to the first star yet. <laughs> Man, so there are no stars smaller than, you know, Earth. Saturn is massive, man. Interesting. So, two mass, JO523-1403. So, a red dwarf. So, this is one of the smallest possible stars. So, the smallest possible, one of the smallest possible stars is still far larger. Far larger than, than Earth, our planet. So that just puts into perspective immediately how big most stars are, right? Good Lord. Oh. 
Okay, here we go. I wonder how much time does the sun left? Does the sun have left before it? I believe does it shrink into a red dwarf after its current stage? Yeah, probably got quite a few million years or something like that, right? Whoa! Good lord. I mean, at this scale, you can't even see Earth anymore. You just can't even see it. And we're not even at halfway through this video. So are these um, stars, like, are they, why is it that they are this color in appearance and this size? Are they at a different stage to our sun? Like, or are they just a different type of star? Like, will our sun eventually look like this? Or did it look like this at one point in its life? If Like, let me know. Like, if you understand, like, my question, yeah, please let me know if you can answer it. I'd love to know. <laughs> billions star of stars in our galaxy nearly all of them circled by at least one planet so many hundred billion stars each with a planet and there are people who you know don't believe or believe that we're the only life in the universe i just cannot for a second believe that you know it's just it, i just don't even think it's mathematically possible that we could be the only life because there's bound to be other planets with the same exact, maybe not the same exact, but roughly the same, you know, distance from a star with water, you know, with an atmosphere. So if all those conditions are met with oxygen, you know, surely there's bound to be another planet, at least one with life. Whether there's intelligent life, though, that's the big question. I would still wager that we're not alone. I, I, genu I genuinely believe there's other intelligent life out there, for sure. Whether we meet them or not, I don't know. just one of pff, who knows how many galaxies right i mean the numbers that are being spoken about here are just unfathomable just huge numbers <laughs>
Lanikia. So that's Hawaiian for immeasurable heaven, a supercluster of galaxies where the Milky Way is one of a hundred thousand. Billions and billions of galaxies. So each galaxy has billions of stars and there are billions of galaxies. There is just no way we're the only life. There's just no way. I just, I refuse to believe it. Importance always means one thing in relation to another. There is no such thing as importance alone. Man, that was just incredible. Uh, like, this really is, you know, something of huge interest to me. I mean, it's just, I do hope one day humanity, you know, discovers how we can, you know, travel to, you know, distant planets, maybe another galaxies i don't know how i don't know how it's going to be done but hopefully it's done one day just because just to, to think that there's you know another planet out there way out in the universe where there could be a civilization wondering if they're alone you know really really intrigues me it just it's really really interesting i, I really love stuff like this it just makes my mind wander you know so cool for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe turn on bell notifications and keep throwing the recommendations my way i know i say it all the time but they genuinely help me out because if i know you enjoyed watching something i'll definitely enjoy reacting to it so like subscribe turn on bell notifications keep throwing the recommendations and i'll catch you in the next one